Hey guys, Big HD here. It's been a while since I've actually done any uh, reaction videos as of late, but uh, considering how <laughs> the clock is ticking at this moment, we are going to um, we're going to get some, let's say, more features in regards to Super Mario Brothers Wonder. You know, the latest game that was announced. Um, I find it particularly curious how uh, people were like. Wondering about why Mario's voice sounded so different, and uh, Nintendo was keeping awfully quiet regarding the whole scenario. And it wasn't until just recently that uh, it was already confirmed that Charles Martinet is uh, stepping down and is becoming a Mario ambassador for Nintendo. I mean, yeah, it was a very uh, unfortunate uh, report that was going on, but uh, on, but to be honest, the whole thing was. It was for the best. It was the end of an era, but at this point, it was a business decision, and they're just passing the torch. This is no different than when Walt Disney, who originally voiced Mickey Mouse, had to find someone else to voice him afterwards. So, we have that. Oh, also, I um, forgot to point out, uh, I have a little... Um, I have something to, to explain to you guys, that, as you can see, I have a better... Um, green screen effect right now i had to invest and in, in make my own um uh, in, in making my own green screen effect here um this isn't exactly cloth that i'm using i'm actually using a um, green colored cardboard like the type of cardboard that you use in school utensils uh, school activities and stuff uh yeah I, I decided to like invest in that uh having like green um the green backboard with green thumbtacks on, on my closet door that's like the best way i can actually get this thing this result um, I did have some lighting issues, but for the most part, I think I have it resolved. But I was just, I've been heavily investing in this thing just to have like a more presentable type of video. Maybe in the future, I can get a better quality camera. <laughs> Who knows? But it's it's slowly progressing to uh, have a better image quality for the channel. And I hope you guys appreciate this. Um, also, I hope you guys have been enjoying all the Mortal Kombat stuff that I've been doing for the past uh, few weeks. Uh, I've been regularly posting them on a somewhat weekly basis sometimes i was uh, coming up with one after the other i had some predetermined i had others um practically come up like literally off the cuff like the the, the one that I had last week with katana and luke Kang, that one just came up came up to me like immediately when i was looking at uh luke Kang's friendships but uh eventually i will um finish those up I think I have like maybe four or five more, depending on how many I, I get right, uh, how many I'm, I'm satisfied with. I'll eventually bundle all those uh, Mortal Kombat shorts and uh, have that as a standalone video for everyone else to enjoy. So uh, hope you guys have been enjoying those so far. And uh, yeah, I will continue the Four Swords stuff. Just wanted to get the, the Mortal Kombat stuff out of the way first. And uh, we'll see what else happens uh, down the road, right? Now, what else is to expect um, in, in regards to Mario Brothers Wonder? A little hard to say. Uh, well, they have to address two elephants in the room. One, uh, of course, we have to know what these power-ups are going to be like. If uh, if it, if the whole Mario outfit, the whole Mario transformation... I don't know why I said outfit. But the whole Mario transformation, is that just going to be for Mario exclusively? Or is that going to be for all four characters? Because... There was some concern in the fan base about seeing Princess Peach and Princess Daisy as elephants. So I don't know. I mean, I, I I'm kind of on the fence on it. I would uh, I would prefer to, that uh, they maybe transform into other type of animals. Maybe add some variety to it. But uh, we'll see. The second scenario, the second elephant in the room, to be more precise. Uh, we we are still wondering who is the next person to voice Mario and that we'll probably find out uh, in this video but uh, heck I mean Mario is Mario's voice has gotten so recognizable that's so easy to, easily to imitate the same way people can imitate Mickey Mouse heck he can, even I can do a, a Mario voice even if I try hard enough mamma mia let's go yahoo it's a me a Mario so Anyone can do that type of voice. You just have to have that right, uh, that right vocal range. Uh, 
uh, still two minutes to go. What to expect? So in terms of gameplay, um, I would say it's Super Mario Brothers Wii and Wii U. It's going to be very similar to that. Of course, it's a, it's going to be a lot more cartoony in its presentation, from what I can tell. Um, I played Super Mario Brothers Wii. Uh, I played a little bit of the Wii U version, though I never really finished it. I would love to try the uh, the 3DS games, but I never really had a chance to play them because I don't really own a 3DS at the moment. But maybe along the road, I, I am considering maybe getting my own 3DS if I can afford it. You never know. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm very curious as to what, what to expect in this game. I mean, what hasn't been done in a Mario game so far? Be it 2D or 3D, I feel like they've done everything. But they always find a way to... Uh, they always find a way to think out of the box. That's what I've noticed. 50 seconds remaining. Well... I just hope that we give this guy a chance. This this new Mario voice actor. Who knows who it could be? I'm hoping that he's going to be well liked in, in general. I don't want this guy to get involved in any controversies in the future. Because I've seen a fair share of English voice actors getting in a heap loads of controversy. Sometimes for the wrong reasons. I just want voice actors to keep a... Um, you know, to keep a clean image overall. Because all this stuff about sexual harassment allegations left and right can really ruin a person's reputation. It can ruin basically the fan base in general. So we're just hoping for the best here. Let's go. Peggy Dry. Oh, so I think I. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom, a not-so-distant okay. land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Okay, I picked the German Mario version, but whatever. Mario and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. But Bowser, the king of the Koopas, had other plans. With just a single touch of the mysterious Wonder Flower. I don't know why I picked the German version. It was the first one I clicked. Sorry about that. <laughs> Bowser merged with Prince Florian's castle. Wow. Thanks to his newfound power, chaos spread across the land. Now, it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. Yoshi's and the Nabbit are still here. In this presentation, we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Let's jump in. This is the Flower Kingdom. It's made nice. up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles, making a total of seven areas to explore. Your adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. Pipe Rock Plateau, okay. The music Once is very late. Once you get past back. the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and radiant cascades of shining falls. Traverse multiple islands, dive into the sea, and spelunk through caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. There's also an arid desert with white sand as far as the eye can see. An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms. A scorching That's hot so world full of molten magma and more. A rich variety of courses await in each world. Move around the map in each world to select a course. 
You can even walk freely through open areas you find. In these spaces, if you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. Okay. Play them in any order you like. Once nice. you've played a course, you can quickly come back to it through the course's menu. It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. While in courses, you might notice some talking flowers. Get close and... Und los geht's! Wie bist du denn hier hochgekommen? <laughs> this is going to be a bit of an issue. They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. Ich frage mich, wie Goombas schmecken. They might give you hints. Ob man da hinten irgendwie hinkommt? Or coins. Du hast mir Wasser geschenkt. It, 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 it's, I'm sorry, it feels a little weird just listening to this and uh, I am so sorry for Besides this. Mario, you can also play as yeah. Luigi. Give me a second. Peach. Daisy. Or easygoing experience. There we go. Careful My apologies though, they'll for that. still lose a life if they fall down a pit. So watch your step. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. Speaking of enemies, here are some of the new ones you'll find. When you get a Nintendo Direct copy and then you have like some different, copy the player different variations of the Europeans or the American version. Melon piranha plants will spit seeds from their mouths. Condarts will fly at you and stick their beaks where they don't belong. I'll have to remove the... Uh, when conks attack, sorry. they'll even plow through goo. Mumsies can be unraveled if you position yourself just right. Mamas will eat anything that comes too close to their gaping mouths. There are plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas, Koopa Troopas, Boos, it sure feels like a step up from the original and games. And other familiar foes are also here. Next, let's look at the new power-ups you can find. In elephant form, make the most of your nose and your size. Swing your trunk to Is attack Is this Mario enemies, only? Destroy blocks and even do this. In this form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. See? If you oh, store wow. water in your trunk and spray it out, who knows what might happen? Thank you. That trunk sure is useful, huh? It's not just Mario, though. Luigi. Uh oh. The Toads. Uh oh. Hey ya. Peach, Daisy, and oh, Toadette dear. all have elephant forms as well. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is just oh my god. Own light floating bubbles. They can be used they're going to with the, defeat enemies they're from a going distance. with the elephant beach. They'll also drift toward nearby <laughs> foes. You can take care of oh enemies dear. surrounding you in one go. Oh, whatever. Defeat typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. Oh, the furry fandom is going to go crazy over, over like elephant platforms. Bubbles make it a bit easier to get to those hard to reach places. Yahoo! Just like that. <gasps> While in drill form, you'll get a pretty nifty drill. We're this makes to... dealing with spiky uh, or hard-headed well, uh, enemies. Uh, uh, no, I can't get, no, I can't get the thought of the or you can use elephant it to drill down. out of my head. It's it cute, but at the same time, it's concerning. And move through the ground. In a tough spot, dig away. You can even burrow into the ceiling. I can already picture the Rule 34 artist just going crazy over Elephant Whoa. Peach. I wasn't expecting company. Plus, the classic fire form makes a return. Oh wait, you don't uh -oh. show Daisy? And you can hang on to an extra power-up. Okay. In a pinch, bust out a power-up. There she or is. Or swap them to better fit the situation. I still this wonder who the next voice flower, of Mario is. A plant that grows in the flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it when in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. When you touch a wonder flower in a course, a wonder effect will trigger, causing some interesting changes. 
pipes might start moving. A stampede I think I see what they're appear. going with here. The terrain may tilt. I think this may have been influenced by that Yoshi's Island level touch fuzzy get this fall. But this one just takes it to another level. Bubbles no might uh, bubble up. Your perspective can change. It's wackier now. Or you might float through space. There are even wonders where your character transforms. Mario might become a Goomba? Or a spike ball? This has gotten so or wacky. blow up like a balloon. When you touch a wonder flower, always expect the unexpected. This should have been called Mario Brothers Wacky. Collect a wonder seed and the course will return to normal. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. Okay. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. There are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some of them. Slow your fall with the Parachute Cap Badge. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with the Wall Climb Jump Badge. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the Dolphin Kick Badge. You can also break underwater blocks. Charge up a bounding nice leap with the convenient. Crouching High Jump Badge. Shoot vines in midair and stick to walls with the Grappling Vine Badge. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the Safety Bounce Badge. Safety Easily bounce, find okay. important items using the Sensor Badge. Sensor badge. Draw in nearby Mula with the Coin Magnet Badge. You still Become play invisible it, huh? to your enemies and yourself with the Invisibility Badge. Hmm. You will not stop dashing with the Jet Run Badge. And you can run in the air for a bit. Neat. There are many more badges with different abilities, from the convenient to the unconventional. Only one badge can be equipped per course. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Mamma mia! Some badges can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. Go for it! While others can be purchased from Poplin shops on the world map. Now, I know sure I accidentally played the German version you collect start. courses for badges. I'm just curious how the Spanish version sounds. Up to four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. Oh, Hope it's not too loud. Pick your favorite character and jump into the adventure together. If a player is defeated in local co-op, their character will float around the course as a ghost. Huh. If another player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. Your group won't lose a life either. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Hey. Even if you're also playing as a Yoshi. <laughs> Yoshi's right on Yoshi's, okay. Or if you're an elephant. No! Okay, fine. Oh, Yo Yoshi can take the If you connect online, you Ooh, might can see take other the pressure. players on the world map and in courses. These are people from around the world, enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. I can just already like picture people just making uh, you're defeated, fan art or making like these little web comics of Yoshi getting crushed by Elephant Mario. Players can send greetings and share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. You can also place a standee in a course. Huh. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not-so-easy areas and help your fellow players. Okay, it's sort of like a checkpoint. You can purchase standee surprises from the Poplin shops to add more to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. 
These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Reviving ghosts, gifting items, reaching the goal pole together, so and an more check will point. earn you hard points. Okay. While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. In a shared room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Start a race by hitting the race block. Then make a run for it. Okay, ghost races. Reaching the Nothing goal isn't here. the only way to finish a race, though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a wonder seed That's like time or defeat a boss Kart. instead. Where you're racing against a ghost. But Whether you're casually here. connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races, you can enhance your experience with online play. I wonder if the flower is going to be the annoying aspect of the game. Who knows? Like the, the talking flower. Like, it, are people going to get annoyed by that? Jump into the unexpected with Mario and friends. Whoa! when Super Mario Bros. Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. Plus, a, a new Nintendo Switch OLED model, Mario Red Edition, is also on the way. Okay. If you look closely, you'll find Mario and some hidden coins. Huh. The Nintendo Switch OLED model, Mario Red Edition, launches October 6th. Neat. Uh, we still don't... That's it? We still don't know who the voice actors are. I mean, the, the, the ones that play Mario and Luigi, or if it's the same one. Very curious. Maybe they're going to leave that for the next Direct? Hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. The game looks like fun. It does seem a little awkward that uh, <laughs> Peach and Daisy do transform as elephants. Though it's... Cute, but at the same time concerning, mainly because the, thir the Rule 34 artist is just going to go crazy with that. But overall, it's it's going to be a blast to check out. I don't know if I'll be able to, uh, to buy it later on. I, I would love to check it out maybe later, like when I get the chance. I'll consider it. I've been too busy playing Tears of the Kingdom, too. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, sorry for that little... Uh, mix up that i had earlier because the intention was that i wanted to show you guys the nintendo direct from the us and i accidentally clicked on the german version i think it was either german or dutch it's probably german but yeah that was a little goof up on my end maybe if i could check out the um the first few minutes here just so just so we could listen to the english version of the flower let me see Let me fast forward to that bit. Ooh, so exciting! I want to like the the flower voice Welcome actor, but I feel like it's going to be very kingdom, annoying. A not so distant land, just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. But Bowser, the king of the country, is that character related to a wigger? With just a single touch of the mysterious wonder flower, fast forward a little. To stop Bowser and save the flower kingdom. Picturesque scenery and radiant cascades of shining falls. Traverse multiple it definitely islands. is a step up from Dive the uh, from the previous Mario Wii Get up here! What a pretty sunset! They'll talk to you, livening up your adventure. I wonder what Goombas taste like. They might uh -huh. give you hints. Wonder if you can get over there. Or coins. You share your water with me? 
granted, I mean, he's a... Uh, Besides Mario, just a very friendly character as. overall, but I just feel like he might be Luigi. a little annoying. Thanks. Peach! Daisy! One of two toads! And... I can already Dad. picture Peach and Daisy cosplays. So Elephant, and Peach, and Daisy cosplays the next comic book. Oh, boy. The Yoshis and Nabbit, on the other hand, won't take damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. Ah, okay, that I didn't Careful notice. Careful though, they'll still lose a life if they fall down a pit. So watch your step. Hmm. Additionally, the Yoshis can flutter jump, eat objects, and spit them back at enemies. That's the part I kind of missed uh, Speaking when of I was enemies, uh, switching videos. Here are some of the new ones you'll find. Hoppy cats will copy the player and jump when you jump. Melon piranha plants will spit yeah, seeds from their from. mouths. Let me just fast forward Condom to see the mumsies can uh, be the unraveled. Elephant power. Too clever is booze. Power up and your size. Swing your trunk to attack enemies. Hmm. Destroy blocks and even do this. In this form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. See? If you store water in your trunk, it's full, huh? Hey -ya. Peach, Daisy, and Toadette all have elephant <laughs> forms as well. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just can't stop laughing over the bubble form over elephant you Peach. Light, it's bubbles. adorable, yet at the same time they so can be awkward. Used to capture and defeat enemies from a but distance. you know what? They'll also I'll, drift I'll accept it. I'll, I'll take it for what it is. I'll take it for what it is. I'm just hoping this actually uh, doesn't ruin. Peach and Daisy's image overall, because you know everyone loves uh, everyone loves the princesses. <laughs> but anyway, again, sorry about the little mix-up that I had there. That was like the first link I clicked in the direct. Little did I know that was the German, or I think the Dutch version. It was probably the German version. But uh, overall, I, I do want to check out this game when I get the chance. If I'm not mistaken, I think the game's going to be released in November, December. Yeah, roughly like around the Christmas holiday. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It looks pretty fun. <laughs> One of these days, I'll probably get my hands on it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll see you down the road with more content. And uh, until next time, take care.